EFSA's scientific advice helps to protect consumers, animals and the environment from food-related risks. EFSA cannot produce this advice without the data it receives from outside organisations. At EFSA, there are no laboratories and we do not analyse food samples, so we encourage all organisations who have data to share it with us. Information on sending data to EFSA is available on the EFSA website or you can contact us for help. Data sent to EFSA needs to conform to a standardised structure. At EFSA, this is known as Standard Sample Description, SSD. EFSA has created tools to help you input your data in SSD. Guidance on using our tools is available on EFSA's Knowledge Junction platform. These tools create the file from your data that you send to EFSA's Data Submission Platform, the Data Collection Framework, DCF. You need to code the data according to the EFSA Catalog of Terms, which you can find in the EFSA Catalog Browser. The main menu contains all the drop-down options that allow interaction between the software and the catalogs. The catalog name is shown here. The filter group can be used for filtering specific data inside the catalog. The search panel allows you to search terms in the catalog. The tree term panel displays all the terms of the catalog following a hierarchical tree view structure. A user guide for the catalog browser is available from the EFSA online library. When you're sending data to EFSA, you need to use the correct codes. For example, if you identify aflatoxin B1 as the contaminant, you cannot use the term aflatoxin B1. Rather, you have to use its corresponding code. You can find the correct code in the catalogue. If the aflatoxin was identified in maize germ, you cannot use this term. Instead, you should use the code for maize germ, which is A016K. You can find the correct code in the catalogue. To send your data to EFSA's Data Collection Framework, you need an account. To create an account, you need to contact EFSA. After we send you your account details, you can log in to the DCF. Navigate to the Data Collection or your organisation. Click on Datasets, insert new dataset, browse, then select the XML file to be uploaded. Click Send. You should see that your file has been successfully uploaded. You'll receive an email indicating the status of your data submission. If the status is valid or valid with warning, your dataset has passed the DCF validation check. However, if the email says the dataset has been rejected editable or rejected, you will need to correct your data. It's not unusual to have a submission rejected. In the DCF, click the box next to your dataset that is rejected editable or rejected. To understand what you need to correct, click on ACK VIEW to see a summary of the errors or ACK DETAILS to see a detailed breakdown of the errors to correct. Go back to your data file, make the corrections, recreate a new file and resend to the DCF. Contact our team at EFSA if you need help correcting your file. A user guide for the data collection framework is available to download in PDF. If you require further assistance, please contact us at data.collection at